More issues for the U.S. Postal Service. This time, it has to do with delivering mail-in ballots. A federal judge ordered postal inspectors to sweep more than a dozen facilities, including one in Greensboro, for undelivered ballots. WFMY News 2's Adoria Toomba is digging into the details. A last-minute order Tuesday by a U.S. district judge in Washington, D.C. tried to force a search for all mail-in ballots at 27 USPS processing plants. Now, on Wednesday, though, the USPS said it couldn't deliver on that order. And here in the triad, election mail isn't the only thing delayed. We mailed a certified letter from the post office on Market Street to the register of deeds on Market Street in Greensboro, and it took 20 days for it to hit their post office box. Such delay is why U.S. District Judge Emmett Sullivan ordered the USPS to find missing undelivered mail-in ballots. But the agency didn't comply, and lawyers said 300,000 ballots in key battleground states like North Carolina were untraceable with the processing rate at the Greensboro facility at just under 73 percent. In North Carolina, ballots postmarked by Election Day and received by November 12th will be counted. And for many months now, USPS has faced scrutiny over mail delays affecting the election. And that's why absentee voter Jack Grimes made other plans with his ballot. We filled it out and took it down and handed it into the Board of Elections uh, in downtown Greensboro. We were afraid to put it in the mail. The judge said Postmaster General Louis DeJoy may have to testify to explain. In Greensboro, Aduria Chumba, WFMY News 2.